and make me tread upon the heights to the legal sweet instruments. Word of the Lord. to welcome for the gathering on this occasion. Stars, shine at night. Some stars shine at bright day and night. It's our pleasure to welcome our set star, our President General Father Joseph Charles, the correspondent of St. Joseph Cathedral Cluster School for today's program. Welcome you, dear Father.
Mrs. Ashwini, the CRP of First Lane Cluster, to come forward to speak few words on this special day. Okay, like 
the children were dancing no some children were enjoying very much when they are dancing they were enjoying very much because they loved it likewise you have to also enjoy the things when you are memorizing a poem okay you are learning the poem yes you have to en- learn it with enjoyment okay and uh, if you are by forgetting something it will be very difficult to you but still you have to enjoy it you have to play with the words and when you are doing mathematics so many people will be facing problem in uh, mathematics is not it because you are not enjoying with this, those uh, numbers okay play with those numbers and enjoy that mathematics also then it will be very easy okay so i have given you four tips and you can say it as mantras because it's very important it has been i told you it has been two or very best tips in the world okay first one is what is that focus mind you have to focus what you are doing okay the second one is what yes very good so you are listening to me very attentively focus is you have you are applying that one. very good so hard work second one is hard work work hard 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 and hard third one is ah uh-huh, that is what third in courageous and positive be positive okay never lose your hope never ever lose your hope always be hopeful and confident be courageous okay the last one is enjoyment enjoy everything learning memorizing solving the problems and everything you have to enjoy you have to take it as challenge okay it is a challenge for me now i'll do it let me see who will win now is it that so likewise you have to go for it and the last thing what i want to share with you is by seeing to from to morning till now i'm very happy because you people are so disciplined and very happy doing and very importantly you people are very lucky isn't it so many children not having this opportunity what you are having now for so many children is not there in fact for me also i do think get this uh, much a very good school like you know, what you are getting now okay so you have to use this love you have to be very grateful to your father mother and the teachers and the school also isn't it apa if the your parents didn't admit or you people to this school means you have missed the luck or missed the chance and if your teachers were not good much good means you have missed the chances so you have to be grateful to god also okay be grateful to the almighty and your parents and your teachers also okay enjoy your days and be good and do good okay thank you so much share my views on qualities of a good leader leadership is a quality that is not present in everyone there are few people among us who possess the leadership qualities and that they can become leaders good leaders are the ones who can make things happen a leader is one who can motivate others and lead a group of people or organization A good leader will always lead the people for a better future. A good leader is one who can make wise strong decision that would be beneficial whatever the field of work that may be. Only good leadership leads to productive work, one that is not only effective but also efficient. Leadership is all about selflessness. It is about thinking about the goals of the society. before personal goals a good leader is necessary to shape society and guide its people a good leader must be responsible for his or her duties good communication is necessary for being a good leader a good leader must be an honest and hard worker 
A leader must be energetic enough to provoke people. Focused and with a mind towards the aim makes a good leader. Hope and positivity can turn a person into a good leader. A good leader must be brave and daring. A good leader must listen to his people and be capable to bring a change. Skills like good ambition and dedication makes a good leader. Leadership is an essential quality that is required for development and progress of people in every field. We need a leader who would guide us a proper direction of working. A good leader does not only influence us, but makes us to realize our capabilities. It helps us in giving our best. Mahatma Gandhi did not say anyone to follow him, but his deeds and concepts of life influenced other people and they got inspired by him. Good leaders prove themselves by working instead of boosting. Good leaders are the dire need of every sector in the world. They always believe in doing their best to get success and happiness. It is different to be a good leader than just being a leader. Thank you. Leadership 
is not a path to privilege. It is a responsibility. It is not an assertion of control over others. We must have the sincere desire to serve. We promise to establish a sense of trust and win the confidence of our fellow students and teachers and inculcate a fall affinity amongst the hearts of all in our school. We will deliver what we promise without compromise.
I request that all of you enjoy the program. From the beginning, it's been meticulously planned well by the heads, along with the support of the teachers, giving the practice rehearsal for the children, in spite of the disturbance by the person. It was meant to be organized, and you understand that effort, how much effort all of you today study and do the year base to organize this investing ceremony in a beautiful, colorful, and meaningful way. Our discipline minister, Telumaga, I school Makkalu Kundavili, Makkalu Vashtuk Hogwangir Bodhu, in our assembly of our stage program, public and support. Our discipline and control model of the Yajavartha. Our education minister, Telumaga, in the exam that we have in the progress card, we have in the progress card, we have to include Makkalu.
first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty God for making today's occasion a resounding success. I extend my heartfelt thanks to our beloved correspondent, Reverend Father Joseph Charles, for adoring the presidency and also for enormous support and guidance. Thank you, dear Father. In his absence, I especially thanks a special thanks to our chief guest, Reverend Father Stanley D. Almeida, for accepting our invitation and for being here with us today. Thank you, dear Father. Thank you. 